The Gaspé Peninsula extends to the east along the southern shore of the St Lawrence River and into the Gulf of St Lawrence. Its name comes from the native Micmac word meaning the end. Historically, the economy has been based on fishing, agriculture and forestry, but over-exploitation of fishing and fewer farmers has forced a move towards tourism. One of Quebec's most popular tourist areas, it contains the Gaspé National Park in the Chicchoc Mountains with a section of the International Appalachian Trail. Forion National Park is at the peninsula's northeastern tip. We follow National Route 132 circling the peninsula, which is separated from New Brunswick on the south by Restigouche River and Chaleur Bay. This unusual work of art called The Grand Gathering by Canadian artist Marcel Gagnon is at the little village of Saint Flavy. The crooked wood and stone people were carved by Gagnon as figure studies for his paintings. There are well over a hundred of them now, placed along the shore and out in the river so they appear and disappear with the tides. The auberge Marcel Gagnon can accommodate up to five guests and we ate at their wonderful restaurant, one of the nicest meals of the trip. These are glacial markings. Sea cliffs dominate the peninsula's northern shore here along the St Lawrence River, while the interior is a rugged continuation of the Appalachian Mountains called the Chicchocs. This is the fishing village of Lonceau Griffon. In Rue de la Reine, Gaspé's main shopping and dining street, we stop for a house-brewed Arabica coffee at Brewery Café des Artistes. The Penwheel Peninsula is a sand spit nearly two kilometres long, connected to the mainland by a 400 metre sandy ridge.
Rocher Percé, or Pierced Rock, is one of the world's largest arches over water. A limestone island in the Gulf of St Lawrence, it's 433 metres long and 88 metres high. Heading south, we enter New Brunswick, the largest province in the Maritimes. It was originally the land of the Mi'kmaq people. We overnight in unremarkable Miramichi, an English-speaking enclave in the middle of a predominantly French-speaking region. The Confederation Bridge is a two-lane toll bridge carrying the Trans-Canada Highway between New Brunswick and Prince Edward Island. Opened in 1997, it's 12.9 kilometres long and the toll for the car when we crossed back to the mainland in 2018 was $47.75. It takes about 12 minutes to cross the speed limit is 80, but can vary with wind and weather conditions. Prince Edward Island accounts for a third of Canada's total potato production, producing 1.3 billion kilos a year. Seed potatoes are exported to more than 20 countries worldwide, and processing of frozen fried potatoes, green vegetables and berries are important industries. One of the three maritime provinces, it's the smallest Canadian province and the most densely populated. Traditionally Mi'kmaq land, it became a British colony in the 1700s and was federated into Canada as a province in 1873. More than 60% of the residents here are of Scottish or Irish descent. Rolling hills cover a significant part of the island's landscape and farming is the backbone of the economy. We base ourselves in Charlottetown. Cavendish, home to Lucy Maud Montgomery, writer of Anne of Green Gables, is on Prince Edward Island's north shore fronting the Gulf of St Lawrence. We visit Green Gables Farm, the setting for the book and a National Historic Site since 1985. This lighthouse at East Point on the easternmost tip of Prince Edward Island was built in 1866.
Fishing's a major seasonal industry, with about 40 boats operating from this harbour, concentrating on lobster fishing during May and June. Cobblestoned Victoria Row in downtown Charlottetown dates back to the Victorian era. We follow the coast of Northumberland Strait between Prince Edward Island and Nova Scotia, turning off to Caribou, the southern terminus of the car ferry back to Prince Edward Island, before spending the night in nearby New Glasgow. Scottish immigrants settled the area during the late 18th and early 19th centuries and we enjoy dinner in this cosy pub by the East River. A hundred kilometres up the Trans-Canada Highway from New Glasgow, we crossed the Canso Causeway to Cape Breton Island, our destination North Sydney, a further hundred kilometres. Situated on the eastern coast of Cape Breton Island, North Sydney is an important port in Atlantic Canada, serving as the western terminus of the Marine Atlantic Ferry Service to Newfoundland, the anticipated next part of our journey. <music> 